Hello, welcome to Scale Modeling, and welcome to part five in the series of our Ravel VWT2 Camper build. So uh, we'll continue on from where we left off in uh, part four. Um, first of all, if you're first time viewing here, um, please hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get notified when videos come come out. I upload and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, comments are welcome look forward to hearing your comments and opinions and thoughts just leave a comment below okay so um, in the last video we uh, we managed to get the body on which went on without too much difficulty uh, it's just a matter of maneuvering a few bits inside that were blocking but it, it went in really nice tight and it's as you can see looking good now we've just got to do some body work uh, some external areas and first up is the windows now we're into on the instruction manual uh, number 35 part 35 step 35 and the order they say number one will be putting this window in the back here. It will clip in from the outside, so that should make it easy. Um, let's let's see how this looks, if we can get that to go in. One, two. What I should be doing is wearing my gloves. Now, I think it's the bottom first. I'll try the bottom end. That, like that, let me make sure that that's correct, yeah. We've got there and there. <laughs> I will put on, no, I won't put on the gloves, it's okay. Let's move, make some space here so we can do this properly. And, okay. I'm thinking the top should go in first. Yeah. That's one. That's second one. Okay, that one's in. Then we need uh, S127, which would be this one, with the louvers on it. Uh, go in exactly the same way. Up the right way, of course, helps. Put the top in first. That's in. And that's in. All right. Looking good. And now we've got uh, the other side over here. And then we just got to pop that in here. Same thing. Do on the top first. Yeah, it's in. All right. All the windows are in except the windscreen, which may be over the page. Okay, let's just check. Uh, okay. And now we're going over to step uh, 36. All right, so we're working on the tail lights here. And we've painted them up already. So let's get these out. Um, so there's some chrome parts that go in first. D71. That's here. There's D71 and D73. So D71, we'll take that off. One, two, there. 
Štve. This I will put a glove on now. <laughs> I just want to look after the paint job. I'm handling this. I don't want to put fingerprints all over the windows or anywhere else. So that needs to simply get pushed into there, it looks like. And then the, actually I think the glass should go on first. Let's have a look at that. So on that one we put number 72, which is this one here. And we'll put that like that, put this on the top. Two. Like that. There you go, that's a better way. And that should clip in the back with the orange up. Looks okay. Yep. One. That's right. Looks like it's sitting in there. Too perfectly. Bit more pressure. Yeah, it's fine. And we'll do the other side. Same process. This one. Mm -hmm. Nah. Let's make sure that's clean here. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, you know, it's exactly the same thing I did before, it went straight on. Come on. That's it. Hmm. Wow, why is that so much? Not going to fit. Uh, got them the right way around. Yes. May have to make this hole a little bit bigger by the looks of it. Although I shouldn't have to. But yeah, I will have to because that's it's struggling to go in there. Okay. Almost broke that too. I bent it. Okay. Just gonna widen this hole a little. Try that again. There we go. Now let's just hope it goes in here. <laughs> I'm really doubting it will for some reason. Yeah. Don't know why the pin on that is so much different. Now, unless I'm putting in the wrong side, maybe that's making a difference. Or not. I'm just... No. Alright. I'll 
I'll just do a little bit of modification here. Trim this down a bit. For some reason, the pin on that uh, is bigger. And I can see the difference just by looking at it compared to, to, the, to the second one on there. That will make it fit. No problem. If it doesn't fit tight, we can always drop a little glue in there. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so the bottom one fits in, the top one doesn't. I'm actually going to cut it right off. There you go. And back even. That's it. Now we'll have no problem. <laughs> That's him. All right. I don't know if you'll have that problem if you're doing this kit, but there's ways around it. So now, what have we got? Uh, that's all done now. Yep. So now we'll go to 37, which is the engine, like I said, you'd call it a hood. Yes, even though it's on the back, cover the engine. Now I'm just going to trim this a little bit like that. Um, there's another little, I'm going to um, chrome up these. Uh, I think I should be, yeah, make them chrome. Um, uh, they do actually go in there and there. Just get that. If we're lucky, I'll go in there and there without breaking. Ah, there we go. There we go, that goes up and down, so that's good. Fits nice and flush. So much so that it's going to need uh, something to open it with. But when it's displayed, I'll display it open. I did all that work in there on the engine. <laughs> Uh, looks good. Now, while I've got this here, I'll, um, yeah, we've got to put on, uh, oh, our license plate's got to go on now. But I'm just going to touch that with some chrome, like I did for the latch on that rear window. So it matches. Get my chrome texture out. Good. I just want to move it carefully like that, that, good. Top there. That's it. Um, maybe do those hinges as well. What do you reckon? Yeah. That looks better. On the top of it there. Uh, 
Good. That looks a lot better. Spots, make sure we low. Yep, done. All right, all in the detail, isn't it? Right, so. That's done. Now we need to put uh, the license cover. We can use either A87 or A88. And that's A7 or 88. So it depends on which type of registration I'm going to put on here. Now we've got plenty of options here. Uh, I do prefer to use the stickers because they shine a bit more. Um, I might go with the longer one. Yeah, I'll do the longer one. Looks more, well, to be honest, none of them really look. Oh, yeah, there's a personalized plate there, VWT2B. That would look cool, a white one. What do you think? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll go with that. So we'll put the longer plate on. And it is, what was it? 70, uh, number 88, this one here. Uh, yeah. And that should just press onto the back there. Hopefully the holes will be fine. that's on the check go a bit further sorry you know, off camera again but there we go that's on now I just need to well it doesn't say you do number plate on there yet so we'll leave that um, that moves us on now to 37 down to 38. Here's where we put the tow bar. So I already have them here, already painted up. So let's turn it up the other way. There's our two little slots in the back there. Okay. Tow bar first, tow ball. It's going to go in there like that. Uh, 
on this one. Because <laughs> get that in there. Actually, I don't want after. This one doesn't want to be, doesn't want to work with me. No, okay. So you see, we just got to trim it a bit. That's it. Yeah. No, why isn't that going in there? Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Just didn't push it hard enough. <laughs> and this one goes in there. And that one fits a bit loose, so I'm going to put a drop of glue. Yeah, otherwise that's going to fall out for sure. Uh, let me get a bit of um, a bit of cement glue. And just lightly touch that in there. Yeah. Um, I just noticed that it's saying that the it's like the electrical connector for for a trailer where the plug goes in there and that's supposed to be black. But I haven't done that black. So I better do it black. Take me a second just to touch that with a brush. Yeah. Yep. That's good. Right. That's uh, a bit done. Now we can put the bumper bar on, which is L89, which is the white one. And I think I have that, yeah, I have that over the other side. Let me just go grab that. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so here's our bumper bars. I'll just get that off. These were clear coated, not paint, not painted. I left them the plastic white, but we got a nice shine on them. That's what I wanted. Just trim that a little bit there. Good. Back here. Yep. One. Done. And now this goes on into those two spots, which is there and there. One, two. It's on. Okay. What else do we need? Oh, there's a sticker, number 13, or a decal. This one I'll use a decal because of the size of it. 13. This one here, 
and that's the black strip along the bumper bar and you can see better there okay which it's missing Hopefully this decal will behave and not roll up on me. <laughs> it should be fine. There it is there. The other one there is probably for the front bumper bar. All right, look, I'm just going to do this off camera. And we'll, we'll have a look what it looks like when it's on. I'll be back in a second. Hey, welcome back. So, um, I've just put that black decal on for the bumper bar rubber. And uh, fortunately, it didn't tear or wasn't brutal. And it's gone on really well. So, just put that on now. So, that completes step 38. And uh, now we go on to step 39, which is putting the windscreen in. So I will probably, I'm going to have to wait until that decal's dry because, oh no, it should be okay. Let me just arrange things here. I, I was using my tray, uh, glue holding tray, uh, for holding this at the angle I needed. So now for the windscreen, uh, goes in like the other windows, so it shouldn't be any any issue. There is a decal to go on the front. It's number 12. Just have a look at what number 12 is. Um, so there it is there. There's two number 12s. They're going over the vents in the front uh, between those two reflectors. Now, I'm thinking whether I would use stickers or decals. I'm thinking more the decal. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the decal on there. So to give you an idea what I mean. Uh, so these vents here have the decals to go over, to go over them. So I might as well do that now. Uh, just put that in here was another way option I had along with putting a bit of foam underneath just to get that angle up that's easy to place the decals there we'll cut these off ready to use this you can see the uh, Another decal there looks like for the front bumper bar. Use probably in the next step, I think. Cut that off. Cut that off. Oh, yeah. There we go. I should be using a a more solid surface so I use a tile um, these tiles are really handy especially if you're doing photo etch and you need a hard surface to work on that all right so we can do this there's our water that across so you can see And pop it in there, make sure it sinks. We've got our mark fit. Good stuff, this. Just want to put a little bit on there. So it's going to soften and go down and fit nicely. 
just checking the instructions on step 39 and other than the windscreen that's all we have to do here so do this first you know take a few moments to loosen up i'm just looking ahead at uh, step 40 which will be the front bumper bar and there's two decals for that 76 and 77 which is not what i thought i saw up there let's have a look 76 and 77 is that right oh no there's some plastic that goes in there a 76 oh anyway let's not get ahead of ourselves keep an eye on this decal here it's just starting the lift now so what i would do now is just uh drain the excess water off onto the paper towel and i use a toothpick and it's not going to tear it just slide it off onto where we want it to go like that position it with the vents like that make sure it's straight which it is just about probably about thousandths of a millimeter there we go that's on. Then we'll do the next one. So, uh, so yeah, if um, if you're ever interested in following me on Facebook, you're welcome to do that. Um, at the bottom of the description uh, of all my videos, there's a Facebook link, and uh, a lot of times down there, you'll well, you'll see what I'm working on when I post photos. Um, and you'll probably see things before videos released or um, photos of things that are coming out in the next video. Because like I say, um, sometimes I get a bit ahead of myself in the filming and I find that, you know, I could have, you know, a video come out on the Monday, say part four of something, and it's actually... Um, days um, before well I'm ahead of myself so I may have the next video almost complete that's going to come out on the following week or as in this case I'll put out two in the one week because this is quite a, a simple build and not taking anywhere near the time of some of my others that one's ready to come off now excess off well drop it that on yeah position that's the thing about decals to stickers at least the decals you can move them around but once your sticker goes down that's it so you know, the, the, the odds of getting it on the first time exactly where you want as a sticker is not very likely in most cases. There we go, that's on. Yeah, you can see them. Good. So now we can mark off 39 is done. We'll move on to 40. We need 86, which is this bumper bar here. Cut that off the sprue. We'll get my water out of the road. This way. <laughs> I, I bought myself a little, little rubbish bin to have on the floor beside me here. Because for, for, well... For two years that I've been doing this, I've just been putting stuff in a spare, you know, container and using that as my bin, but it'd fill up pretty quick. And I've been meaning to do it for ages, and I was at the hardware store the other day, and sure enough, uh, they had these ones for $5, and I thought, oh, I've got to do it. So I have my little bin beside me now. And less often I have to get up and empty it. So that one can go into the bin. <laughs> I'm just going to 
to ID this up a little bit. The value came off. That. Doing it off screen, aren't I? There we go. This one here. Beautiful. It's already clear coded, so that's ready to go on. Um, now, yeah, we can just push that straight on pretty much. Make sure it's the right way around. It's only going to go one way by the looks of it. Yep. There it is. That's on. Another quick view. There we go. Obviously it needs the decal, but there's other parts here. There's A76 and 77. Oh, right. So that's for the license plate. And again, we have the same choice we have on the back, which was I chose the longer one. So we're going to have the same on the front here. Just take that off. This one, two. Yeah. Wonder. Oh, the sprue is almost empty. The only thing we got to do off that are the windscreen wiper blades. And there's a gear stick in there. Whoops. Ah, I forgot to do something. Okay, don't really want to be pulling that off. Actually, if I take off one of the doors, I'll be able to put that gear stick in. So, I don't know how I missed that. Anyway, all is not lost. Uh, tie that up a little bit. There's our... Number plate's going to go on there. Just put that in. That holds her. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm thinking, was that going to sit down? Yeah, all up. We may need to put the decal on before we do that. Yes, the decal needs to go on first. That side, decal number 11 is... Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Take that off. There. Take the number off. Nothing worse than having the number of the decal floating around in the bowl and getting stuck and mixed up, stuck on the decal you're trying to work with. Can make a mess of things. Right, so that's going to go in there like that. Easy. Put that in the water. Okay. This decal aside, we'll need that little after. Put it there. Right. Uh, maybe I should be standing that up again. Yeah, because that worked last time. Grab my glue tray. Now the other decal's not going to get damaged. There we go. Good. And our toothpick, tweezers, cotton bud, and a bit. That on there. All right, put this on. I also use um, my water after I boil it. So not when it's hot, of course, but boiled water, sort of. There's chance of contaminants coming out of the from the tap water. Not that uh, our tap water is a problem. Could be right here. We can drink, drink it. No worries. Okay. The excess off. Let's lay this on. Yep, looking good.
It's going to be easier to do with the glove off, I think. Yeah, let me just get it on there for a start. Then we can slide it back here into position. Looks good there. Let me just check the other side. Straight. Basically want to line up with these holes where something else is going to go. I think. Uh, uh, uh. Just check. Uh, looks good. Perfect. Excess. I'm wondering what those two other spots are for those. Should be all right. Have a quick look ahead in the instructions and see what's going on that bumper bar. It's like nothing. No, ah, that's how it's supposed to be. Good. I was wondering because there's no hole in the decal where those little holes are. I think we're good to leave that. That's nice and straight. Yep, happy with that. Might give it one more a really light coat of dark fit just to make sure it settles down. Let that dry before we try that number plate. Yeah. Okay. Now over the next page. Oh, we're up to putting the roof on. Excellent. All right. Well, I'm going to put this aside, let these decals dry properly. I'll put that little number plate cover on the front there, and then we'll come back and put the roof on. Okay. We'll be back in a second. Okay. So we're back. Um, the decal's dry. I put the number plate cup frame or support on. Uh, I'm about to pop the windscreen in. I've also got the roof ready here. Now it comes in two parts. If you remember there was this part that's going on and then this part goes on top of that. So I've just already attached it to the top of that. Um, these don't get glued so you can take them off. I'm fairly sure. Um, well there's no need to glue it anyway because it's it's that fits in there quite solidly. Um, also, before I forget, and I'll do that right now, is we don't need this on here anymore, so we can take that off. There we go. Drop that in my new bin. That can probably tidy that up a little bit better. Use my knife to just fairly quick go over. Yeah, nice. Yeah, much better. All right. So now we're going to do the windscreen. And that'll just pop in like all the rest of them. I'm sure. <laughs> Let's hope so. I'll pop that in the bottom first, I think. Let's see. Maybe not as easy as I thought. <laughs> Line that up a bit 
better, I think. Ah, that one went in. That's going in now. Good. Yep. Push it back. Excellent. So you can see, there's our windscreen. Now there was a bit of dust on that. I'm just thinking about uh, it's on the inside. Just my luck. All right. I am going to take that out and get that dust off and give it a clean. Put it back in. We'll come back, throw that roof on. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so I've got that much, much cleaner, got all the dust out. Not that it's going to stay that way, but we'll see. <laughs> all right, so now this is the roof has got to go on. So there's just four attachment points to go in the back and two in the front there. Put this up and get those back ones lined up. In. That's in. In. Oh, there we go. All right. There's the roof on. There you go. How's that looking? Looking pretty good. Fantastic. What's next? Okay. So we need to do the canopy pop top and uh, going by this we'll need those struts that I did silver and our canopy which is all ready to go here and uh, and there are some decals to go on the canopy which I'll probably definitely be putting on before so let's have a look at the decals first we'll just move our little combi van out of the way and check out our decal options so we've got uh, we can use stickers or decals for these so let's look at the difference the decal is 32 and 33 for the sides so the sticker I should say which is a more, more reflective because it's like a sticker or we've got the decal which looks fine anyway as well so I'm thinking about going with the decal yeah I'm going to go with the decal for this and there's one there for the back as well or is that the front uh, that would be the front okay we seem, seem to still have a few decals I haven't used yet that haven't been called out. Anyway, there's more to go, so all good. So what I'll do is I'll take these decals off and um, I'll even put them on. Don't need to see that. And uh, yeah, I'll have a look when it's done, all right? Back in a sec. Hey, welcome back, guys. So... I put the decals on, but unfortunately, I think it's because I didn't clear coat this. The mark fit has lifted some of the paint on this first decal I put on. Lucky I noticed it, and um, I didn't use so much on the rear decal, which is hardly noticeable. That's fine. And on here, I just used water. I didn't use the mark fit at all. Just put that one on. I was thinking, oh gosh, I'm going to respray this. Look at it. it. Looks all stained, messed up. But it's on the side of the van that I don't, I'm not going to be displaying. And uh, so I'm just going to leave that. And it's not that noticeable. Otherwise, I'd have to respray the whole piece and use the stickers on, on it. And uh, yeah too much hassle so I'm leaving it as it is I'm just going to let that one dry now um, I've taken the struts off the sprue they're ready 
And also, I didn't mention when I put the roof on, as you can see, the roof's on there. Obviously, that's for the closed position, but I want to display this with the pop top up on it. And to do that, we need to take this off like this. Pop this bit out. This. Yeah. Shine out. Okay. That goes back on. Is that the right way? Yes. That's in. That's in. Okay, so this will put that aside. Um, still use this. This will actually go on the top of the canvas pop-up. But what we need is this piece. Now, this piece I didn't paint. I didn't do anything. It's just as it is because you won't be able to see this. It, it gets completely covered, as you'll see. Um, so now, because we're using pop-top, this goes in here. There's a couple of little holes in the corners in there. Left to go. Make sure they fit. That and that. Okay, and then this end. Okay, I may have to, oh, no, that pops in, that's gone in, need a little bit more pressure, it's in, alright, it's on, scary, but it's on, let me just make sure our roller, our side door can still come out and open, yes, Good. All right, so that's on. Then we need to put uh, our canopy, which I'll be careful because the decals are still drying on. Canopy is going on here. So it's going to go like this. It's going to go like that. And there's those little slots you'll see down there. Put to go on. Push them in. Yep. It's on. Okay. Get an idea how that's going to look. All right. Oh, we've got a mud guard. It's fallen off there. I thought they might. They weren't super tight fitting. And probably need the only bit of glue in the whole kit. Yeah. So I will glue those. And um, then we need to put the struts on. So we have number 132, which is this one. It goes here. Just make sure we got this the right way around. Yes, I do. Okay, so that's going to get pushed into place on there. That seemed a bit too easy. Make sure they're in properly. See if I can press that down with a uh, Toothpick. Yep, that's in. That's in. Okay, so that one's on. The other one on. Right way around helps. Up the right way. <laughs> It's going 
go in there. And go in there. Too big just to press that in. I think that's it. Yeah. All right, so they're on. Now what do we need? Uh, we're going over now from I'm just checking. We've got all the decals on. Yes, that's all on. They're on. That we've already put in place on there. Let's go over the page. Now we're on to step 43 to put our rooftop on. It's all happening now. Decals are fine. No. Okay, there they are. It goes in there. They will go in here. Just get this. Again, I'll just use this to push them in. Yep. That's in. Front is in, I think. It is now. That's in. Do this side. Them in. Push the front in. Oh, that's falling out. What happened there? went in then good Need a little bit more pressure it's on looking in under there they're all in place that's that all right so there's our roof on very good that mud flap fallen off again. Let me go glue those mud flaps or I'm going to end up losing one. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I glued the mud flaps on. Fine. So now we'll move on to the next step, which was the spare wheel, which we've already done. So we've got that side. Um, there it is over here. We were going to put it on... Well, there was the option of putting it on the front, but I'm going to look at putting just the emblem on the front. And maybe just sit that somewhere else inside. Or maybe even put it on top there. I think that might be fine, eh? Spare wheel up in there. Um, now, the next step is, number 47, is putting on uh, the mirrors. So we've got rear view mirrors to go on either side. And the windscreen wipers. And that front emblem. Okay, so let's get a look at these. Uh, we need to take them off the sprue here. Let's do the um, let's do number ninety five, which is this side. I say the passenger side, but it's the driver's side. Being in Australia, it's uh, the opposite. So if I say the passenger side, <laughs> yeah, you'll know what I mean. So number third, number ninety six, is it? Uh, ninety five, number ninety six, ninety five. We'll take that off. That. And just like that. Yeah. Just 
Let's do a quick test fit. Here I am saying test fit when it doesn't need to be glued apparently. So it should just push straight in. Um, it is the right shape I'm noticing to do that. Just checking. Okay. Make sure that's straight. It's... No, it doesn't want to. It's going to be a bit fussy. Just wiggle it a little bit and it'll be fine. That's it. That's on. The other side. Make sure I cut this off in the right spot. Should be right there. One's in. All right. Looking good. I'm going to take that one back off because I just need to trim a bit off the top there. Just touching to the sprue. That's it. There we go. Mirrors on. Right. Make sure they're angled properly. Looks good. Now we've got to do the windscreen wipers or the emblem. We'll do the emblem. We'll have a look at that. See how that's going to go on the front. This. tweezers for this might be easier beautiful now it's looking all right look at that And now we've got to do the windscreen wipers. Just checking on this. This is the end of that sprue, so that's finished. Windscreen wipers. So number 85 goes on this side. It's this one here. Turn that off like that. Should turn one off there like that. that in here pretty good Be 
position it right on the windscreen. Just like that. And this will probably also touch a glue on that. Let me get the other wiper on. Fantastic. That completes everything on there. Just double check through everything later. So um, that that that's done. And the page again. All right. So we've got decals now. We need to put all of our decals on on the outside. Just give you a look at how the front's looking. There you go. Okay. All right. So we'll start with, uh, well, we'll put it in the angle it's supposed to be, and we'll start on step 48. So we've got stickers or decal options. Yeah, oh, here's where they're telling me to put the decals on the tyres. Wouldn't that be awkward when they're already on the vehicle? You'd think when you put the rims on the tyres, they would put the decals on, tell you to put them on then. That's okay. You'll notice back in the beginning uh, when I put the tyres together, I didn't know about these white walls until I got to the spare tyre where it showed, oh, you can put the white wall mark on. Okay, and there were five of them, so I knew that they're for all the tyres. Okay, so let's go number sticker or decal 35. It's going to go up here. Find what that looks like. Uh, it's not on there, it's going to be on here. 35, no. 35, where's that? Alright, let's have a look on a sticker sheet. 35. Ah, there we go. So it's just the brand top on it, I think. Westalia, it's called. Not Australia, Westalia. So we've got one on each side. I'm assuming. I'll just double check if it's... Yeah, one on each side. So I'll use the sticker for that. It, yeah. Sticker number 12. Hmm, that's interesting. So earlier we put on the sticker for the front grill and it, here it's telling us to put it on again. <laughs> oh, and the sticker for the buffer bar which is already on. So a lot of these are already done. These are probably just telling you in case you missed it when you're following the instructions. So there's not so many after all. We've got these two, one on each side at the top. We've got the Westphalia one to go on here and I think there's uh and of the registration number plate so I might just go ahead and do this there's a couple go on the side as well there's like a little hatch on the side of the door and a power outlet sticker to go on that side just checking the other side of the van there's nothing else oh down on the water tank underneath there's just a couple of decals uh, and there's a few on the back. Well, yeah, a couple on the back. Most of them we've done. Mud flaps we've done. And so forth. All right. Best thing is, I think, is I'll go ahead and put all these decals on. And that will be the end of the build. We'll be able to have a look at... Um, I'll put it up on display and we'll have a good look around it and see how it's come out. Okay, so stick around for that.
back shortly. Okay, welcome back, guys. So, here it is. The completed Ravel VWT2 camper. Snapped together. Uh, it's come up pretty good, I believe. What do you think of that? I'll just show you. Here, yeah, I've got... Uh, Everything's on. Um, I did notice when I went back through the instructions that I missed out on the decal for the stove top. So I managed to put that in there. Um, the windscreen wipers I haven't glued on yet, which I will do. Cause they're not as firmly fitting as I'd like them to be. You can see the beautiful windows. The paint job on that plastic for the body which is the original colour. I, I never painted it. All I did was put a clear coat over the top. It's come up really nice. Um, we've got our engine bay that pops up. And you can see the engine in there, which is a better view like that. Well, it looks quite good. Pops down. Uh, tail lights look good. Our pop top. On up here looks fantastic came up really really well and also um, the interior you can see in through the sliding door there this will slide open uh, further if I want it to but all the way back um, but yeah it's got our little table in there our rear bench seat cupboard space underneath looking nice out mirrors interior so uh, yeah there she is sorry bump the camera come up really well now something i got all about completely i'm checking my um box where i put all the painted parts and i realized that i've still got this so whereas i showed you before this roof with this section down on top without the pop top up that's an option, so you can have that down. But you can have that completely off and have your roof on there without the pop-top version at all and, and put that on, which also looks really nice. Um, I don't know what I'm going to... Well, I want to display it like that. That's my choice. But, uh, yeah, there's the roof if you wanted to put the roof on there. So, so what I'm going to do now is um, I'll just take a few photographs and um, display them at the end with a bit of bit of uh, suitable music for our Volkswagen. And um, yeah, I, the only thing I want to say about the kit itself was it went together quite easily. Don't be too concerned about um, pressing the pieces in. Um, you've got to be a bit careful, but they do need to be pressed in firmly in most cases. Um, one of the things I would say about the instructions is it's a shame that they don't show, um, for instance, the decals as you in, you put them on throughout the build. Um, it doesn't show you in the future steps those decals in place. And a lot of them are a bit, bit of a guesswork of which way they go on or if they're up the right way or in the exact position because there's nowhere further through that shows any decals. In fact... Um, other than the last few pages showing on the outside positions, but there's a lot inside and around the on the engine bay and and on the interior that you just don't know about. Um, but otherwise, it's easy instructions. You can clip this together as is and not paint anything, and I think it'd still look quite good. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought I'll do a bit of custom work on the paint and. Uh, and I'm really impressed. And this is actually my first vehicle I've ever built. Um, not including the tank build I did. But for a civilian vehicle, this is my very first one. And I'm extremely happy with it. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, I'll play a bit of music. I'll put some photographs up. And uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And please throw your comments down below. I'd love to hear your comments of what you think and what your opinion is of this. Um, these are readily available as far as I'm concerned. Uh, from what I can tell, you shouldn't have a problem picking up one of these kits. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun little build. 
All right, I will go and uh, thank you all again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.